be making bases. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe, as well as give me a thumbs up, because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, today's video is going to be a super cool and simple one. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is showing you the quickest, absolute quickest way to lay down a clap pattern in Logic Pro 10. So I have this loop here already ready to go and it just needs a clap to start getting the drum sequences going. So let's just show you first off the loop and then I'm going to show you the simplest and quickest way to create a clap pattern in Logic Pro 10. Back. So that's our loop, right? So the quickest way to do this to create a clap pattern is not the old way where you're going to go physically play it with your hands um, using your MIDI keyboard or even drawing it in into piano in the piano roll. Um, what we're going to do is first of all create your software instrument track. We're going to pull open this uh, quick sampler and then I'm just going to go ahead and open up a clap sound here, right? So, like I said, the traditional way to do this is this literally just to come over here with your keyboard and play it as the loop is going but that takes time man and especially if you're just going to go hit the same note at the same time uh you know throughout the uh loop it doesn't really make sense to sit there and waste that time to do it so um vice versa just pushing p on my keyboard if i was to come over here and actually draw a pattern in it's just gonna to take too long to draw that clap pattern in. So the alternate way to do this, okay? First of all, if you if you come up here to the top, you push the scissors, it's gonna open up your piano roll. You can also push the letter P, all right? But instead of the piano roll, you're gonna go ahead and go to step sequencer. And literally, well, all you have to do is just click on one note. It's gonna be this note right here. It's right in the middle, dead center of all these. And you can kind of see it's gonna be after this center black mark right here. Just click that and you can just move this over and literally we have a clap pattern ready to go. Now that's kind of like magic. It's almost like sleight of hand, you know what I mean? So I'm going to show it to you one more time. It seems kind of like, man, did that really just happen that quick? Well, yes. All I have to do again, create a software instrument track, quick sampler, um, we're going to load up our drum. Um, if you don't already have a clap, sim, uh, clap sound loaded up, what, whatever, in your uh, quick sampler, you can just drag and drop from anywhere. And then all you're going to do is go over here, uh, push P to bring up the piano roll and then click on step sequencer. Click right there. It's going to create your clap pattern. Move it over there to the beginning of your loop and you're ready to go. So y'all, that's today's video. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. Also, make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses, we have kits, and we also have a dope giveaway we're doing. So make sure to go to our site. And thanks so much for watching the video. We're out.